Crypto Kitties and Beyond, Exploring the World of NFT Gaming. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, are unique digital assets recorded on a blockchain. Each NFT carries individual identifiers proving ownership and authenticity of the tokenized asset. The origins of NFTs can be traced back to 2014, when Kevin McCoy created the first ever NFT, Quantum, on Namecoin. Building on the concept, rare Pepe digital collectibles were mined on September 2016 on the Bitcoin blockchain, thanks to the smart contract capabilities of the counterparty protocol. However, it was not until 2017 that NFTs became mainstream, with the release of popular NFT projects on Ethereum, including CryptoPunks and CryptoKitties. In 2019, the market experienced an explosion that led to the famous NFT frenzy of 2021, which put NFTs squarely into the public's consciousness. One of the most memorable moments of this fabulous NFT bull run was the sale of Beeple's The First 5,000 Days, for a staggering $69 million at a Christie's auction. NFTs and cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, BTC, and Ether, ETH, are similar in that they both exist on a blockchain. However, unlike NFTs, cryptocurrencies are generally fungible. In other words, one unit of a cryptocurrency is functionally identical and interchangeable with another. In contrast, a non-fungible asset can't be subdivided, its value is due to its scarcity and uniqueness. At its most basic level, there cannot be two similar NFTs, even if they come from the same collection. This is one of the most important properties of an NFT. Other properties of an NFT include Decentralization The NFT economy is designed to maintain its integrity without depending on any third party. All rules and transactions are enforced by software known as smart contracts. Verifiable scarcity All records on a blockchain are public. Therefore, anyone can examine the blockchain and, for example, confirm how many NFTs exist in a collection. Verifiable history. The history of all NFT transactions is recorded on the blockchain. You can authenticate all preceding owners of an NFT, even back to its creator. This is important because an NFT may gain value based on who the previous owner was. True ownership. NFTs are exclusively controlled and owned by the individual who possesses the private keys to the wallet in which they are stored. The decentralized nature of blockchain technology ensures that ownership of NFTs can't be altered or duplicated without the owner's consent. You will need a secure wallet, such as the Trust Wallet, to easily manage your NFTs, especially if you are an avid creator or collector. The Trust Wallet DAP browser also gives you access to top NFT marketplaces, where you can sell your NFTs or add to your personal collection. NFT Games Playing with unique digital assets Besides art and collectibles, NFTs have also gained a lot of popularity in the gaming industry. They offer new ways for game developers to design games and for players to own, enhance, and even trade their in-game virtual assets. Here are a few ways in which NFTs are being integrated into games. Collectible Assets In various NFT-based games such as Alien Worlds and Splinterlands, in-game items such as avatars, weapons, and outfits exist as unique and rare NFTs that players can trade. As such, players get to truly own their in-game assets and even prove ownership and authenticity of virtual items. Virtual Real Estate NFTs are often used to represent virtual lands on gaming platforms such as Decentraland and The Sandbox. Players can buy, sell or even develop on the land, just like in real life. In-game rewards In some games, such as Sorare, NFTs act as rewards for winning in games or tournaments. This gives players a unique and valuable asset that they can trade for money or other assets. There are currently numerous NFT games in the market. Some examples include Gods Unchained is a free-to-play NFT-based card game where people accumulate cards that they can trade on the game's marketplace. Players accumulate these cards by winning PvP matches or purchasing from others. Each card in the game is an ERC-721 token, a standard for NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. Therefore, you can also trade them on other marketplaces besides the games. Alluvium Alluvium is an interoperable blockchain game, IBG, where people traverse a digital world in search of rare and unusual monsters called alluvials. Players can collect, train, and release alluvials to fight against other players. The aim when playing alluvium is to create a powerful crew of alluvials that have a high chance of beating opponents and earning rewards. Most elements in the game, such as land and alluvials, are NFTs that players trade in the in-game marketplace. Sorare 
Sorare is a free-to-play fantasy trading card game that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. It intersects two of the most popular hobbies for sports fans, trading cards and fantasy leagues. Players start with a random deck of cards, each card representing a real-life athlete and their statistics. From their cards, players can assemble a team of five players to enter into weekly competitions. The performance of your team in the game will then correspond with the real-life performance of the athletes in matches. There are over 300 sports clubs officially licensed on Sorare's football trading cards platform, including big names such as Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain, and Liverpool, just to mention a few. The economics of play-to-earn games Play-to-earn, P2E, is a business model that drove the wide adoption of blockchain-based games, giving rise to the prolific crypto gaming industry. These games go beyond traditional gaming experiences by introducing their self-contained economies, assets, decentralized governance mechanisms, and virtual worlds. The play-to-earn model creates a market for in-game items and assets influenced by supply and demand. Typically, in-game assets are in short supply, which gives them value by creating scarcity. This scarcity may be attained in several ways, such as setting a high time limit for minting new in-game assets or limiting the number of assets that can be minted. On the contrary, interested players who enjoy playing the game and those looking to trade assets for real money fuel the demand for in-game assets in P2E games. For example, players who want to use specific assets in their gameplay may be willing to pay more to acquire an asset immediately. On the other hand, players seeking to quickly trade their assets for cryptocurrency may be willing to offer discounted prices to hasten the transaction. The more players participate in a particular game, the more valuable the in-game items become. A bigger player base leads to more demand for assets, which may be necessary to win a game, thus driving their prices up. CryptoKitties CryptoKitties is a blockchain-based game and collectibles platform released in 2017 by Dapper Labs. It's one of the earliest and most popular projects to introduce the idea of NFTs to the mainstream. First launched on Ethereum, it later moved to the Flow blockchain. CryptoKitties players can collect, breed and trade unique digital cats that exist as NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. CryptoKitties gained a lot of popularity during the first days of its release, but this enthusiasm has faded over the years. Still, the platform has sold over $100 million in total volume since the NFTs were first released. Your first digital imprint, how to mint NFTs. In the decentralized ecosystem of NFTs, anyone, including you, can be an NFT creator. Creating a new NFT is referred to as minting. Although there are various platforms you can use to mint NFTs, the process is quite similar in all. This process usually involves Connecting your wallet. Before you can interact with any NFT minting platform, you need a cryptocurrency wallet, such as the Trust Wallet browser extension. You then visit the platform of choice, for example, OpenSea, and look for the option to connect your wallet. Minting your first NFT. Once your wallet is connected, you will be given an option to create your first digital collectible. Here, you will be prompted to upload a digital file, describe it and fill out other necessary information, such as the blockchain where you want your NFT to be hosted. When done, you will have the option to mint your NFT. You will require to pay some gas fees for this process. Therefore, ensure you have the necessary funds in your wallet. If you find this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.